The weeks and months prior to the day went by quickly and all of a sudden we had to pack. I even got a tattoo with a big ship as I really loved the harbor, the river and all that Hamburg meant. And we closed the door of our old home, gave the keys to a new owner and drove away in a fully loaded van, kids and cat in the back, canoe on the top and we drove 18 hours straight through the night. I was too dead to manage a lot, but Katrin got us there safely. Now we are here, in Norway. This is crazy. We're building a ride for the sleds right behind our house. I feel like a kid again. <laughs> and already, after a few months, it feels hard to imagine how we had lived where we had lived for such a long time. In one way, this move somehow felt like coming home. Seeing how the kids fully embraced the news of moving from day one, maybe not fully realizing what it would mean at their age, but still. They were so brave and we are so proud. The wild spirits awaken in this environment. They are outside no matter the weather and then when school and kindergarten started and we were nervous as hell, they just went and embraced it. Everyone made them feel so welcome. We were so thankful and still are. Our kids are starting to be little Norwegians. Fietje speaks better Norwegian than us. And we, well, we're trying. And now that we are here, it feels hard for me to leave for work. Much harder than before at least. Traveling will always be a part of my work and my life. And there are many things about it I like and enjoy a lot. But having found this place that we call home now also seems to open new doors and new ways of thinking. Who knows what this move really will mean to us a few years down the road. It is a start of something new. And maybe it is proof that you can always start a new chapter in your life, no matter how old you are or what the circumstances might be.